You're a daisy if you do. Today we're looking at the movie Tombstone because I was curious to know what does it mean when Doc Holliday keeps using the southern slang term daisy in all of his phrases. Coming at you right now. Isn't that a daisy? Hey all, Wild coming at you, and today we're discussing Tombstone. For those of you who don't know, Tombstone was a movie made in 1993 which featured Val Kilmer portraying Doc Holliday. And in this film, Doc Holliday has some unique catchphrases and one-liners that are just simply classic. And one of the words he uses all the time reoccurring through the film is the word daisy. And I was really curious to know, what does daisy actually mean? So I went and did a little digging and found a little bit of research and found out that daisy was a 19th century slang term that was commonly used, which represented best in its class or simply replaced the word daisy for the word best. Now you, you see this come up all the time in the film. And let's take a moment to take a look at how the dissection of this word actually now works within the film now that we have an understanding of it. Let's take a look at the scene where Doc Holliday is playing poker and throws down his hand. <coughs> Isn't that a daisy? Why, you son of a bitch. Hey, Billy, just settle down. Shut up. It's easy to see how the word daisy works here because when Doc Holliday throws down his hand at the table, you can simply see how he has the best hand at the table. So daisy works really well here. Another great scene that happens in the movie Tombstone is when Doc Holliday is about to shoot the last cowboy at the OK Corral. I got you now, you son of a bitch. You're a daisy if you do. Right here, point blank, Doc Holliday is telling the gunman if he can shoot him down, he is the better man, he is best in class. Perhaps one of my favorite scenes is right at the end of the film, and I don't want to give anything away, so spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the film, stop watching the video, and I'll give you a couple seconds right here. But my favorite scene is the face-off between Johnny Ringo and Doc Holliday at the end. And when Doc Holliday bests him in the duel at the very end, and Johnny Ringo is staggering around, Doc Holliday says one unique line at the end. You know Daisy. You know Daisy at all. <laughs> Poor soul, he was just too high strung. This is my favorite use of the term daisy in the film. You have to remember, Doc Holliday was dying of tuberculosis and basically wanted to live out his remaining years partying, drinking, gambling, being around women, and more importantly to him, being in fights. He liked being challenged and he actually wanted to find somebody that could best him. So when Johnny Ringo disappoints and not being able to finish Doc Holliday off, you can actually see the disappointment, which is why he says, you're no Daisy, you're no Daisy at all. Hey, I hope you enjoy that, because I was actually really curious to know what the slang term Daisy meant. And now we kind of all know and know why it's used in the film. But I'm not done here. The term Daisy has actually changed and has been used in other different phrases that you might find fascinating. So to make a well-rounded video, let's take a quick look at some other phrases that use the term Daisy in it. The first one you're all really familiar with, it's fresh as a daisy, which basically just means well-rested, energetic, full of energy. And the term comes from the late 1700s when a daisy's petals would fold up at night and then reopen with the early morning sunlight, giving it a welcoming appearance. Next, we have daisy chain, and the term in the olden days referred to actual interwovings of daisies chained together to be used for such things as garland, or even if you've seen in some old pictures, worn as like crowns across the head of children. Now, in today's terms, we use it for a lot of different things. Like, for example, you'll see daisy chaining of like hard drives or batteries in a sense. It basically can mean now any interconnecting activity, event, or subject that gets applied from one to the next in a particular order. And last we have pushing up daisies, which basically just means to be dead or to be buried, which works really good for the movie Tombstone. Now I couldn't find the full origins of where the phrase came from because it had a few different sources. From what I could find, daisy imagery has been around for quite some time. And the famous Babes in the Woods and the Ingoldsby legends 
urges us to be kind to those little deer folks when our toes turn up to the daisies. By 1866, George MacDonald further sweetened this expression by saying, I shall very soon hide my name under some daisies. Hey, hopefully you guys liked this video. It was actually really fun for me to do because I like researching these things because I'm curious to actually know what the answer is. If you guys have a question out there or there's something that you're curious about, feel free to leave a comment below and I will see what I can do to make a video about it. If you guys like this video, make sure that you do subscribe and hit that bell so you know when my videos go live. And feel free to also give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you guys like this, make sure to follow me on social media as well. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I will see you guys all next time in my next Curious to Know video. Take care and have a good one. Peace.